Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to uh, provide the multiple effect or a multiple anim animation effect in the PowerPoint for an object or for a shape. So this is one example what I have made, I am just going to play it. You can see, you know the characters are getting multiplied. So how we are going to do it? So let us begin. So first thing is that let us insert a new slide. Okay, let's go to the design. Let's go to the format background, gradient. So just give the gradient color whatever you feel like. So I've just used a gradient of green and yellow. So the next thing is to insert the character. So in, if you see my previous videos, I, I have shown you how to create the cartoon characters. And I've shown several cartoon characters how it can be created. So this was the slide. So I'm just going to take one guy out of this. Just going to select him all. I'm going to group him, and I'm just going to paste it over here. So, just for example, I made this. So, I made one guy. So, and then the next thing, what we have to do is that we have to insert a shape. You know, something like this. You know, or uh, we can instead of this, we can use something like this, you know, shape what I was looking for, something like this, but in white, no outline, and send to back, so something like this, okay, and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to group this again, and I'm going to make it a bit smaller, okay, and I'm going to duplicate it, control C, control V. I'm going to ta take one more copy, so I've ta totally taken three out of it. So now, to feel the difference, let's change the color. Okay, so now I'm going to change the color of this guy. Dress color, I'm going to give orange for this. Hand orange. 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 So I change this, this guy's color. So now I'm going to change this color. I'm going to put, you know, like a pinkish red. So, just changing the color. Okay, so, so now what we have to do is that, you know, you have to select all and align top center. Okay, so we don't want this big, you know, we make it very small for the to this presentation. So something like this. You know, this is the first guy, this is the second guy, and this is the third guy. Okay? So now let's create the animations for this. So once you have created this, now you can create the animation. So what you have to do is, for so the first guy, let's go to the animation. Let's go to a more entrance effect. Let's use the stretch effect. Okay, let's open the animation pane and it should be with previous. So this guy's animation is done. So now coming to the second guy. For this guy, let us add the animation appear effect. Okay, so but this should be after previous. Now again, we want to add the animation for this you know, particular shape. So again, add animation. Go to the lines in motion path and you can select left first or you can select right, whatever you wish. Mm, let's change the duration to one minute and it should be with previous. Okay, so the animation for this guy is also done. Now, coming to the third character, again the same appear effect and this will come after previous. And again, click on this guy, add animation, and let us insert the motion effect, and let us insert the line. Okay. This should be with previous. The duration, we can make it one. Okay, now you have created all the 
animation so what you have to do next is again select all go to an align again align top align middle Align center as well. So now let's bring the character this one to the middle. I think I, I given one character as down. So this guy I've used instead of in the motion effect if I if you see I've used down. So instead of that I need to change that, go to animation. So one was to the left, so what should right so let's now it's correct so let's again select all go to the format align center top miss so I am going to put it over here in the middle so the next thing what you have to see is this effect and the header so this is also very simple you have to just use this one something uh, going to insert again like this okay and just take a copy of that rotate it and put him over here so let's make him a bit in the center for this particular video okay so once you do that just go to the effect shadow preset and use this effect and instead of blue, can use white, so it gives this you know, whitish effect. The next one is the just the name, so I'm just going to copy that over here. It's the name I've given multiply effect. Along with that, I've given three lines, so uh, just to make the header look better. So just you can use some small this kind of shapes, you know, just white or something, no outline. You know, just make it three. Just you can again align top so it comes like this, and again go to FX preset this particular effect. so it will give this effect, and you can put it over here. It's like a you know header intro text you know image, so something like this. So let's see how this works. So once you play. You can see the multiply effect. So this is how the multiply effect works. So here the you know it came a little bit slow because the duration was two. Just make it one. That's it. Just play it again. See. So this is a multiply effect. So hope you like it. Thank you very much.